If you've been a fan of our YouTube CNC videos, you're going to love our new book, The Hobbyist Guide to CNC. The book where we cover how to build, buy, or convert a desktop or benchtop CNC machine, just like you've seen us do on this channel. If you're interested in your own hobby class CNC machine, but you don't know where to look to get help, this is the answer for you. Now available for purchase exclusively on Amazon Print On Demand in all major Amazon markets. Thanks. Hey there YouTube, Far North Racing here. So if you've ever tried to cut aluminum on a hobby lathe, you know it's a giant pain in the ass. The aluminum burst nest is the bane of my existence. It clogs up tooling so bad that I have to put an optional stop after every pass just so I can cut the snarl of chips out of the way. And at that point, why bother having a CNC at all? However, it's pretty safe to say that anytime a little hobby guy like me has a problem, somebody in industry had that problem too. And that means there's an industrial solution out there somewhere, assuming you can get an industrial supplier to return your phone calls. Well, I just got lucky. An industrial supplier took pity on me and hooked me up with some inserts that are supposed to work at the depths of cut and feeds and speeds that our hobby lathe can actually achieve. Too good to be true? Probably. But let's try them out and see if they work. So here's the first one. This is a Walter carbide insert. It's very highly positive for cutting aluminum. And that FN2 in the insert code means it's a fine finishing insert. The WNN10 grade means it has a coating of PCD and it's supposed to chip break at depths of cut at five thousandths of an inch and deeper. This carbide insert also from Walter is very similar, except it has double the nose radius and it doesn't have a coating, it's just highly polished. It's supposed to start chip breaking at six thousandths and deeper. Finally, this insert from Becker Diamond has a PCD diamond tip with a built-in laser chip breaker on it, and it's supposed to start chip breaking at about eight thousandths. It's also supposed to provide a really smooth, fine surface finish. So here we go. Here's the two Walter red inserts, and here's the Becker, and that means it's time for some Swarf Porn. Insert 1 worked as advertised, just a little sketchy around minimum depth of cut and slower speeds. Let's try Insert 2.
Now the Becker, which isn't for hogging, so we'll just do fine finishing tests with this one.
Okay, then let's talk conclusions. Going over here to the depth of cut tests, you can see that there's not much difference between the two Walter inserts. And you saw the video about how at all the reasonable depths of cut, and even some unreasonable ones, uh, it broke chips just fine. So either one of those inserts will work for general purpose machining, no more birds nesting, and well, there you are. That's the final finish. So that worked. Over here on the top, we have a final finish with one of the carbide inserts. And here we have the final finish with the Becker diamond. I don't know if it comes over as clear in the video as it does in person, but there is definitely a step up in surface finish with the diamond compared to the carbide. With that said though, it's not that much of a difference. And I can certainly go from this to this with a little bit of emery paper and some polishing. So where I think this offers the most utility is boring operations, where I want to be able to get a decent bore surface finish, but I can't really get emery paper or file or some sort of polishing thing inside and keep the bore consistent. So the Becker's a little bit of a bust, but it does have its uses. Whereas here we can see the carbide insert works great. So there we are. Lathe cutting inserts that chip break aluminum. And I suppose this is the point in the video where I remind you to like and subscribe and check out our Patreon and all the rest of that kind of stuff. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Ding, ding, around one. Ding, ding, around one. Now the battle's begun. Ding, ding, around two.